Hey, I'm Steve, and I'd like to host the Oscars. This year, the Academy decided there would be no host, but I think that's a big mistake. We've had some of the funniest people on Earth host this show. I mean, the last two years, Jimmy Kimmel was the host, and that guy is... Hilarious. I mean, he deserves all of his fame and fortune for sure. And yes, I know, the reason that we don't have a host this year is because Kevin Hart, the guy who was going to host, posted some really unsavory, terrible things on Twitter a few years ago, and he never really owned up to it or apologized. So, to get ahead of this, I'm gonna show you the worst things I've ever posted on the internet and apologize right now. On July 26, 2012, I posted, Degrassi is the best show on television, hashtag Team Tristan. Now, if you don't know what Degrassi is, it is a Canadian teen drama set in the sometimes perilous hallways of Degrassi High School. In 2012, I was 20 years old, which is one year too old to be watching a teen drama, so for that, I sincerely apologize and I hope you can forgive me. On October 3rd, 2008, I posted, Steve Clark is breaking into school. Yes, it's true. I've committed a few crimes in my day. But the worst part about this is that I'm bragging about it on Facebook. It sets a terrible example for anybody who's reading my timeline. And I'm really sorry and I hope you can forgive me for this as well. On August 12th, 2012, I tweeted, Time to watch Rick throw Terry's head into a rock and then shoot Jimmy. Hashtag Degrassi. Okay, this tweet actually happens a month later than the first Degrassi tweet, so I really shouldn't be watching the show at this point, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm also really sorry that I spoil Rick's dark and compelling storyline where he dates Terry and they go into the woods and he shoves her into a rock and she goes into a coma. Then Rick leaves Degrassi but comes back a year later only to be bullied by Spinner and the gang so intensely that Rick brings a gun to school and shoots Jimmy, played by rapper Drake, in the stunning season 4 episode Time Stand Still. I shouldn't be spoiling major plot points to anybody out there who hasn't had a chance to really dig their teeth into the breakthrough emotional series that is Degrassi yet. I'm genuinely sorry and I really hope you can forgive me. On September 24th, 2010, I posted on Facebook, Legends of the Guardian, the Owls of Gahul midnight premiere was so good. And my mom replied and said, On a school night? My mom was right. I should not have been out that late on a school night. I mean, a midnight premiere means I probably didn't get home until well after two o'clock. I'm really sorry. And then on January 27th, 2013, I tweeted, school starts tomorrow, but more importantly, Degrassi mini marathon tomorrow night. Hashtag 911, hashtag school sucks. Now it's 2013 and I'm still watching Degrassi. I mean, I'm almost 21 years old at this point, so it's really quite unacceptable behavior. I also apologize for saying that an award-winning Canadian teen drama is more important than school. While Degrassi may have launched the careers of Nina Dobrev, Cassie Steele, Sinead Grimes, just to name a few, school has launched millions of careers and should be treated with more respect. I'm really sorry and I hope that we can move past all that and I can host the Oscars for you on Sunday. So with all that out of the way, I wrote some jokes for you to show how capable I am of being the host of the Oscars. Wow, thank you so much for letting me host the Oscars this year. I I'm your host, Steve. I hope I do a good job. Oh, hey, look, Mahershala Ali is here. You know, I really loved the Green Book movie, but after I watched it, I felt a little blue. So, uh, maybe change that title, hum, hum Mahershala? <laughs> Roma was nominated for Best Picture this year, but I never got around to seeing it. What is it? A prequel to my favorite television show, Everybody Loves Raymond Romano? Hey, but you know what? I'll say it. I don't think Meryl Streep is a good actress. <laughs> it's true. I don't. I think she's a great actress. <laughs> good old Glenn Close is nominated tonight. And oh, there she is. Wow, you're seated way in the back, aren't you? Looks like tonight you're Glenn far away. That's just a little taste of what I could bring to the table. So let's drum up some support. Let's tweet at the Academy telling them that I should be the new Oscars host. Make sure to hashtag your tweet with, let Steve host the Oscars, please. I think he'd do a pretty good job and what do we really have to lose, you know? I mean, let's just, let's just do it, baby. Thank you so much.